Hey everybody, and welcome back to my Control for a quick tip video. In this video, we're going to talk about objects or elements in Capture. The Internal Capture Visualizer can have a box object slash element added from the Titan interface. The box is the only object or element that can be added to the Internal Capture Visualizer. The box object can be resized to make a wall or a floor by giving it a zero depth or height. These are both added by default on a new or wiped Internal Capture show. The box can also be colored to represent things such as drum risers, stages, or a focus spot. To add or change an existing element in Capture, open the Capture Settings window. You can press Open Size View twice and then click Capture Settings. Then click the Stage tab. Then select an existing element and edit it or click the plus button in the bottom and select Box from the pop-up to create a new element. You can use the multiple check marks to edit multiple elements at the same time. You can also use the trash bin to delete an element. After selecting an element, you can then change the following, its legend, its color, its opacity, its width, its height, its depth, its orientation, X, Y, and Z, its rotation, its position, X, Y, and Z. X is left and right, Y is up and down, Z is forward and back. All measurements are in meters, this cannot be changed. So let's have a look at that. So I'm on version 16 of Titan, and the regular uh, Titan Go interface for with the uh, Titan Mobile or a T3 connected. So if we go ahead and open up our Capture View first, and go ahead and click the Open Size View twice, and then I'll select Capture. And we see we've just got a basic show in here with a back wall, a floor, and some fixtures we have in here. That would be the default if you wiped a new show. And we'll double tap Open Size View again. And this time we'll go ahead and open up our Capture Settings. So we go ahead and click on our Stage tab. We well, can see that we've already got the, the floor labeled as a floor, and the back wall labeled as a back wall. If I wanted to change the color of the floor, I can simply click on it and then click on the color. Let's see, we'll make it uh, a bright, we'll make it a ridiculously annoying bright green. I also control the opacity to make it trans more or less transparent. I can make it wider. Or I can make it taller. So just being a zero depth, or zero height, excuse me, I can also make it less deep if I wanted. I can also rotate it if I want in the different planes. I can also control its position left and right, up and down, forward and back. I can also change the name by clicking on the legend here. I can then uh, type what I wanted it to be. We'll leave it as floor for right now. So I'm just going to hit the exit key. I need to do the same thing with our back wall. We can give it a color if we want. We'll make it uh, an obnoxiously bright red. And we see that we have it fully red there. And we'll change our appearance. We're going to set our ambient lighting to 100. Just to really show our colors. Or we can take it back to a nice nondescript gray like it is normally so if we want to add a new element we go ahead and click the plus button down here at the bottom and we'll choose box from the elements that pops up and we'll select it and we'll go ahead and make this one a nice bright blue and then we can go ahead and change this position move it up and down left and right and forward and back. We'll move it up front here and we'll make it oh make its width be a half a meter. Actually we'll make it oh, almost one meter. Height make it two meter tall like it's a person or so. And depth will be the same as the width around one meter. So we could have that represent a uh, artist on stage if we wanted to use it as a focus spot. Uh, we can go add another one and we'll go ahead and set its name to be lead. As so that we know it would be our could be our lead singer. We'll go add another one in here. And we'll go ahead and change its color to be red. And this will just make it a three meter by 
three meter and height half meters we'll make it a yeah, half meters great for it and then we'll go ahead and move it out a little bit here I'm sorry move it out a little bit second we up at our drum riser if we wanted and we'll go ahead and turn our quad view to make it a little easier to see what we're doing We make that our drum driver if we wanted to. And we can go ahead and bring it to O. Oh, bring it a little bit farther forward. See so right about there. Uh, we could add a, we'll just do a full stage. So we'll add another one. Choose box. And we'll set it. We'll go ahead and change its name to stage. And we'll say our stage is oh, 25 meters wide, and it's one meter tall, and its depth is 13 meters. And then we'll go ahead and position it on the Z, we'll bring it out there a little bit. We'll say this is our actual stage. So now we'll take our lead singer and watch him put him on stage now. So we'll go ahead and take the Z and we'll move it back a little bit. Right about there, and we'll take his uh, Y and move him up a little bit so he's actually standing on the stage. Set it in it, and do sitting with a drum riser. We'll go ahead and bring it up right about there. We'd also just make a spot to be a focus spot, so we'll go to another box here and we'll call it focus one. And just to keep it from all the other ones, we'll just make this one bright green. And we'll make it, we'll make it 0.5, and 0. So then we'll go ahead and position it. We'll go ahead and uh, if we keep it in the center here. And we'll go ahead and well, I will give it about that one meter, same as our stage. And we'll go ahead and bring it forward. And bring it a little bit farther forward. We can now use that as a focus spot to uh, focus our fixtures on. We can make multiple of them, give them all different colors. Uh, if we wanted to simulate a truss, let's say, we go ahead and hit our plus and change to a box. And we'll give its color, we'll kind of make it more of a, a silveryish color. And we'll say our truss is going to be, oh, 20 meters wide. And it's a. 0.5 works for there, and we'll do it by 0.5 here. And then we'll go ahead and move it. So we'll take its Y and we'll bring it up there. And 20 meters wasn't light enough, so we'll make it 30 meters. And we'll do 25. That'll work. And we'll record just a little bit. And now we see that could represent the truss for our fixtures. And say if we wanted to delete any of these, I could just go ahead and say I wanted to uh, delete this focus spot one. I could select it, then hit the trash bin, and have it go away. If I wanted to edit multiple times, say I wanted to change the color of my floor and back wall at the same time, I could simply click the multiple check marks button, select the floor and the back wall, and now I can change both of their colors at the same time. So it has been uh, all objects or elements inside of Capture and how you can manipulate them. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Avalanche US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.